I think that uh, this uh, heading here, decimal, may be a little confusing because uh, if we use C, uh, the uh, caret, uh, uh, this hat uh, sign is actually exclusive or in C. So let's just clarify that this is a power of uh, 2 raised to the n power. Okay, something like this. So I just need to squeeze this in here. Okay, so this. Um, so this is an idea of how we compute the mask values for our flags inside the e-flag register. And uh, now we're going to revisit the overflow condition. So this is like uh, overflow condition revisited because we already built a circuitry um, in digital works that was detecting um, overflow um, indicators. Uh, for adding and subtracting two complement integers uh, based on the 4-bit adder. If you remember, we had a laboratory exercise that was able to detect this. So now we're going to retry this in Assembler. So in Assembler, we should be able to rely on our carry flag and overflow flag results, right? So the carry flag is used for analyzing overflow for unsigned numbers and the overflow flag um, is used for analyzing the overflow results uh, in signed uh, values or two's complement format numbers. So once again, just real quick, arithmetic operations have potential to run into condition known as overflow. And this is how we control this. So overflow occurs with respect to the size of the data type that must accommodate the result. Overflow indicates the result was too large if positive or too small if negative. In other words, there is no way to fit the result into the original size. So inside computer hardware, the data type is fixed. And uh, if we run out of uh, space in that data type, of course, that's the overflow. All right, so um, two sign complement numbers are added, overflow flag is set. So both operands are positive and the result is negative. That's an overflow in, in a sign world. Both operands are negative, the result is positive uh, when we're adding. Right, uh, that also indicates that we have an overflow. So when two unsigned numbers are added, we simply look at the carry flag. So it depends on us to which flag to apply depending on the logic of our program. All right, so computers don't know the difference between signed and unsigned numbers. The hardware simply is not constructed uh, for uh, separately for sign and unsign. So this is really great thing because it makes everything fast. However, it's a burden on the programmer's shoulders because now it's our responsibility, the programmer's responsibility to pay attention uh, to overflow conditions um, and especially you know in small numbers like AL which is just ranges from uh, you know from uh, um, uh, minus uh, 128 to plus 127 as a sign number uh, it's very easy to overflow so we probably uh, should pay pretty close attention to overflow of byte size integers um, uh, regardless wh wh whichever uh, arithmetic uh, we're using sign or unsigned so this is the idea for signed we look at the overflow flag which we already have the mask for to apply and for um, unsigned numbers we simply look at the carry flag so we need to relay rely on two different indicators inside the cpu in this EFL register, just individual bits right here, uh, to, um, uh, to decide whether overflow happened or not. Now, before we actually experiment with, uh, with, more, um, with more instructions, just to observe how, uh, how these flags are really set for us, let's take a look at also alternative to addition and subtraction, which is increment and decrement. Right, so increment and decrement instructions, um, uh, both uh, add and subtract, uh, uh, just a value of one. But there are some differences. Mm. So the increment instruction adds one to the destination operand, but it does preserve the carry flag. So it never updates the carry flag. 
So the destination uh, can be register or memory, just like with uh, addition and subtraction. Uh, but um, because um, uh, increment and decrement are designed to work with um, uh, counters, uh, the decision is made that because inside the loop relying on some counter, uh, the, uh, um, the reasoning behind this type of design of increment and decrement, that it will never update the carry flag. It just rolls over uh, and uh, does not um, uh, change the carry flag. So let's try something that we have already done, or maybe we have another uh, view of this um, in... Uh, um, here, yeah. So if we set the register, uh, eight bit register such as BL, which is the slowest part of EBX, to hexadecimal FE, which is binary one 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 one, and only one zero is is left. If we increment BL, all right. So the, naturally, the next value um, is 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 adding one to the rightmost bit right here and if we increment bl again of course it all rolls over to zero so if we used add instruction to add one the carry flag would be set but with increment and likewise with decrement um, the carry flag is spared and not affected so this is just uh, just something to know about increment and decrement instructions and that's the difference between adding one or subtracting one uh, and compared to increment and decrement so of course uh, increment and decrement are uh, one operand instructions so for instance uh, if we wanted to try this specific example uh, we would just have to say move and let me stop this debugging right now okay so uh, here if if i wanted to try this example so i can say move into register bl uh, value uh, um, in in um, assembler you have to use zero then fe because that's how hexadecimal numbers uh, should be used you cannot start with uh, um, non 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 decimal digit uh, and then you use suffix h right so this is how you would write this instruction to load register bl with uh, with this bit pattern and then we say let's uh, increment uh, bl right so let's increment bl so the the result should be ff and let's then increment one more time increment bl one more time uh, so that should become zero and let's also then decrement bl okay so let's just uh, quickly run into the set of instructions just to observe what is happening so i'm just moving my breakpoint down to the new section of the code of course this is all meaningless it's just pure experimentation so i build again and i press f5 to run uh, so our debugging environment uh, stops on this line and tells me this is the instruction which is about to execute so watch for the value inside uh, register bl which is the lowest uh, byte in ebx and uh, i will press uh, f10 to step over okay so you can see that fe was loaded into the lowest part of ebx as expected we increment bl so we execute this instruction and it becomes ff right so now fe became ff as expected and we step over one more time right so we just go back here and we step over one more time we just incremented and we got the zero and we want to uh, analyze what is this result right so let's take a look at the flags so the uh, the carry flag uh, should not be uh, affected and so we uh, we apply this right so we just use this result and say okay what's the what's the carry flag value as a result of this manipulation again i will clear my immediate window and copy and paste from my uh, scratch pad right here uh, hit enter and uh, it's uh, being set to true and although it may appear as something unexpected the thing is that uh, the carry flag was true 
uh, right here at the, uh, before we started this manipulation so the carry flag has never changed so it just remained true so let's uh, improve this i'll stay uh, say stop debugging there is a uh, way to uh, manipulate uh, uh, manipulate carry flag directly which is on our next page so uh, clear carry clears sets it to zero set sets it to one and complement uh, flips over so if we want to clear a carry flag we just have to apply clc okay so clc will set the uh, carry flag if i wanted to add a comment here so carry flag is simply will set to will be set to zero this is a uh, clearing uh, carry flag so let's try this example one more time right so i'll move my breakpoint up to here uh, save everything build it okay run one more time f5 okay so debugging session starts uh, uh, so let's uh, so we're now just about to clear the carry flag but i think it's being set in the previous instruction uh, let's verify it so the value is uh, 293 okay and we want to check it like this so we just use this again i just clear first and then copy and paste this uh, thing uh, hit enter so it's being set but after clear uh, we say f10 right so we execute uh, this and it becomes f10 so it becomes 292 which of course is uh, um, should be should be quite visible that it has uh, changed uh, to zero okay so we repeat this hit enter so now the carry flag is false and now we again go back to these uh, set of steps to uh, take um, to load uh, BL with uh, FE okay so it gets loaded right here becomes FE then we increment it becomes FF we increment again it becomes zero and at this stage um, we can analyze the uh, flags one more time right so we can analyze the flags and uh, although there was uh, seemingly an overflow in incrementing ff if we check the result here one more time the carry flag remains zero as expected so increment and decrement uh, instructions do not change carry flag when working on incrementing and decrementing values that's a big difference compared to addition and subtraction of value one so right here uh, the instruction increment and decrement do affect uh, instruction um, um, do affect uh, uh, the sign flag the overflow flag which is the sign overflow zero flag and af so for instance um, right now uh, bl became zero so therefore the the zero flag should be set so we take this 256 uh, the 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 last result uh, uh, and uh, this is e ebx and uh, the zero flag mask is 64 i try to use this mask against this very value Ch check the zero flag and uh, copy and paste okay and hit enter yes it's true so that the zero flag here is now set why because the result of this previous instruction increment bl uh, and we were just about just just finish this operation right here of course the result in bl is zero and this is why the zero flag is set so zero flag is just one of the flags that uh, uh, help us to understand better the result of the arithmetic uh, um, arithmetic uh, command and of course uh, these are direct carry flag manipulation because uh, it just appears to be because uh, the carry flag uh, in our flag register which is the lowest bit uh, in the flags register is just an additional bit uh, for arithmetic operations um, there are uh, these instructions that can be applied to manipulate this flag directly to change it